Earlier this month, the Rapid City Area Schools considered destroying certain books in the district. Tonight, Kelly Anthony Thorson explains for us why bookstores feel it's important to keep reading and supporting local businesses. While it may be easy to buy a book on your phone or listen to one on your drive, bookstore owner Jeannie Simon says it's also important to read a good old-fashioned book. But they still prefer the paper books, the smell, the feel. There's just something about paper books that are so appealing. Again, Books and Bazaar Bookstore has been around here in downtown Rapid City for several decades. Well, the customer base kind of dropped off when e-readers first became like they were a new thing and so everyone was trying them but then over time a lot of those customers came back and so then our customer base has actually grown. Simon says she sees a wide range of people in her store. Over at the Rapid City Library a number of books are checked out each day. Reading is wonderful um, not only for literacy and um, expanding your knowledge but it also builds empathy where you get yourself in other people's heads and you hear their stories whether it's a biography or fiction. Not only is it important to support your local libraries, but also to just read. It's a good way to combat the stress of, you know, your hectic, busy life. There's just something about sitting down and reading. Um, it builds your ability to concentrate deeply for longer periods of time. It's a good, healthy, emotional, relaxing thing to do, and it's fun. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. The Rapid City Library is hosting a summer reading program for kids across the Black Hills. The library hopes it will keep students reading outside of school.